Today on Pillow Talk, we're getting emotional with Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls is quantum, quantum destiny. She's a cosplayer. Beyond Two Souls is quantum. Okay. You're doing it again. You're up. I'm up. I'm up, Jesus. Beyond Two Souls is Quantum Dreams' newest release. Now, if you remember Quantum Dreams, they're the people behind Heavy Rain, so we're expecting a very, very emotional, cinematic-based video game. The cool thing about Quantum Dreams, uh, new- I got three really good segments, and now it's just like, no. Stop! Beyond Two Souls is Quantum Dreams' newest title. Now, if you remember them at all, they're the people behind uh, Heavy Rain. So, we're expecting more of a cinematic experience from this game. But what's really cool about it is that you actually get to control two characters at once. And those characters are Jody. She starts out as an 18-year-old. You follow her all the way until she's 23. Not in the creepy way. You're playing her. Um, and then you also play as Aiden, who's a ghost uh, that you that seems to be Jody's imaginary friend. Now Jody gets put into this testing facility because she's her imaginary friend, quote unquote seems to be causing a lot of trouble and her parents are worried that maybe she's going insane. Uh, so basically these scientists run tests on her and actually Willem Dafoe guest stars uh, along with Ellen Page as Jody. Uh, Willem, gets, Willem Dafoe guest stars as Nathan who is one of the researchers that takes care of Ellie and like guides her through life and just makes sure that she's okay. He's kind of her father figure in a way which is kind of weird like I really just cannot picture the Green Goblin being a father figure given that he was just a bad father. No offense, Willem! We just got the gameplay on March 21st, and it kind of... I mean, it's exactly what I expected. It's more cinematic based on anything else, it's based on choice, it's based on how fast you can hit the button when you need to, so this game is more of a movie than anything else. But what I really love about it is the plot, which is exactly what Quantum Dreams wants. It's got a great concept behind it, it uh, has a set of characters that are really, really well thought out, well done, and it's basically like you get to watch Ellen Page grow up. So for all of you creepers out there who really love Ellen Page, this is the game for you. So this game is almost completely cinematic based and it's more emotionally driven than anything I've really seen this year. Um, what the creators really want out of this game is to make you kind of feel a lot for the characters, to make you cry in a way. And it's very rare that most players cry in a video game. I mean, unless you actually liked Eris. I, I don't know. The role of Jody right now is that she seems to be a medium and uh, Aiden, the ghost, is the one running around causing all kinds of trouble. And nobody really knows what he wants out of life outside of to hang out with Jody and f it up. Uh, so that's the whole plot behind the game is basically the government is trying to find out what Aiden wants and how they can use him honestly as a tool, hopefully in some weird espionage mission or part of the CIA or maybe Gerard Butler's friend in the Secret Service and Olympus Has Fallen, which is a great movie, by the way. Everything we know about Quantum Dreams leads up to the fact that this game is basically going to be an interactive CGI movie and it's going to push the boundaries of technology as we know it from just the gameplay, gameplay, I can see that the graphics on this are highly, highly advanced. It's like I'm actually watching uh, Jody in real life. It looks like a film, it looks gorgeous. And the way that they display the way powers work in this game with different lighting techniques and like quick button play is just kind of mind blowing, honestly. And the fact that you have dual control of two characters is a little bit more than what you could ask for in any other video game. Like you guide Jody through the physical world, whereas with Aiden, you guide him through the spiritual world and Jody can be in one place, Aiden can be in a completely different room controlling what Jody either wants him to do or whatever he wants to do. So merging those two characters together and bringing them as the main center focus of your game is what Quantum Dreams really wants to do. So E3 is coming up and we're all very, very excited to see more of this game, but I'm kind of like, I'm honestly iffy about it. I, I love cinematic experiences, but I don't play video games to press a button every once in a while and make stuff happen. Like if I wanted that, I would play, I don't know, Phoenix Wright. Heavy, heavy Rain. <laughs> heavy Rain. Um, and all the other different choice-based video games, which are still very great, but 
you know, I'm more of an action kind of girl. So to me personally, it doesn't really appeal outside of the fact that it's a good story, which is what I always look for in video games. Um, and I mean, we're, we've, we've already seen like a lot from the past E3 and from this recent trailer. So I'm really hoping that maybe the player gets a little more control over the game or maybe we can make like heavier decisions than we did in Heavy Rain, which is kind of ironic because Heavy Rain, heavy like Marty McFly. So overall, I'm, you know, I'm a little skeptical about the game, but I look forward to playing it. And after the gameplay, I'm honestly pretty, pretty excited about it. Um, so look for it in the future and for girl, <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, <laughs> damn it. Hang your head in shame. <laughs> your friends hate you. My friends hate me, I don't have any friends. So for Pillow Talk, this is Katrina Dennis signing off. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. I'm actually a robot that Gamer Hub built, and it's not working out so well, so I might get scrapped soon. Now I know what Rei Ayanami feels like.